Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm here joined by the one and only legendary Gary Spain. And uh, we all know that the playoff situation, uh, if it comes to it, if we don't beat Denmark, um, is a, it's a bit of a um, silly, uh, I wouldn't say silly, but strange scenario where it's kind of, it's all over the place. But you know the whole situation. So if you wouldn't mind, take it away. The floor is yours and delighting the, the audience there in um, what way it could pan out. Okay, so the first thing to say is at this point, barring mathematical miracles, we are guaranteed a playoff if we need it. So if we don't beat Denmark, or obviously Denmark will get a playoff if we, um, if we qualify directly. So we will get a playoff. Now, the way the playoffs work is there are the four, it goes back to the Nations League group. So actually it doesn't matter whether we finish third or fourth or fifth in the group. So Georgia are actually in a playoff as well from out of our group. The, the best four teams in League A that didn't qualify will play off. The next the best four teams in League B, C and D. Now, when it comes down to League A, I think at this point, almost certainly, there's still a chance Portugal aren't there yet, Croatia aren't there yet, but Iceland are almost certainly going to be the only League A team that are going to need a playoff. They're going to have a home semi-final because the playoffs are done... There'll be four teams in, in the playoffs. They play two semi-finals, one-legged semi-finals, so home advantage is crucial. Decided over 90, 120 minutes or a penalty shootout. And a few days later, the two winners for each of the leagues, the two winners of those semi-finals meet. Again, one team will have been drawn for home advantage. And again, it's over 90, 120 minutes penalty shootout to decide one place in the finals for each league. So that draws on November 22nd and we'll know at that point whether we have a home final or not. We're almost certainly got an away semi-final. And I'm going to go then to League B, which is the one we're interested in, and almost certainly the playoff we will be in. There is a potential we could go up and join Iceland in League A, but I'll talk through as well why that's unlikely for it to be us and much more likely to be Wales or Northern Ireland. Now, let's take League B. Bosnia are in League B. They're in the playoff. They'll have a home semi-final. They're the highest ranked team in League B. Barring the mathematical miracles which involve Finland losing to Liechtenstein and Bosnia beating Italy, exactly not going to happen. Bosnia are in the semi uh, home semi-final. The next team or possibly teams in League B that will probably need a playoff are Wales and or Slovakia. Things have got a lot clearer and the likes of the Czech Republic, Sweden and Austria after these rounds of games look like they're going to qualify directly now, most likely. Again, there are scenarios where they miss out. It's not, it's not Austria pretty much a done deal. The Czechs and the Swedes have a little bit of work to do. But then you come down to the group, which is Croatia. Again, they're not over the line, but I think they'll get there. Slovakia, Wales and Hungary and I've been looking at Wales, Slovakia and Hungary and I've been changing my mind even just today. Hungary have to win in Cardiff on the very last day, the day after we play Denmark to qualify. If Wales win their two games they'll probably qualify but likewise if Slovakia beat Azerbaijan it might be enough if Wales draw with, with Hungary. It's quite complicated but it's likely well, one of Wales or Slovakia will definitely be in the playoffs, possibly both. And the reason I'm touching on that so much is it looks very, very likely that we are going to be playing away to one of them. Because my reading of it now is there's going to be either exactly four or five League B teams requiring a playoff. And if we're interested in it, we're going to be one of those four or five if it's going to be us or Denmark, actually, so it's still going to be four or five. The other one the team that's already guaranteed a playoff, I think, is Northern Ireland because they're not going to beat Holland and Germany. So I think we're taking it as Bosnia pretty much nailed on Northern Ireland, although they can move up to League A. Um, but if it's four, let's say either Slovakia or Wales qualify, it would be Slovakia or Wales at home to us, Bosnia at home to Northern Ireland, a draw on November 22nd to see who gets home advantage. 
and uh, hopefully we'd come out the right side of that draw. And then to go on to Iceland and possibly the possibility of getting a, a home semi-final. And what's going to work against us at this point is the fact that we're hosts of Euro 2020. Because UEFA are going to want to draw the playoff winners in the host cities because we're guaranteed games at home. So they will only want one host in each playoff. League D, there's no host. League C, Scotland, are uh, they're hosting games in Hamden. They've got a home semi-final. They won their Nations League section. The other potential playoff teams or hosts there are Hungary, uh, will get a playoff and Romania probably will get a playoff. One or both of them may move up to League A and I think if that happens, UEFA, if there are five teams in League B to decide who goes up to League A to draw, that team would have home advantage, would have the other home semi-final opposite Iceland. I'd take that actually, would suit me great, but it's more likely to be possibly Northern Ireland or Wales or Slovakia who are allowed to move up. So one of them will probably be drawn to go up and get a home semi-final. So I suppose if I'm looking at it now, my call would be Bosnia v Northern Ireland. I'm going to go with Slovakia at home to us and two of us to meet in the final. Republic of Ireland v Northern Ireland for a place in the Euros in Dublin. Hopefully in the Aviva. I really wouldn't fancy playing them in Windsor Park. Oh, that would be next level type of stuff, wouldn't it? Um, and especially when we, we we had a game against them last year and they actually looked at the better side, which kind of worries me as well. And the Netherlands game they played there recently. They, 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 I, I was actually at that game en route to um, to, to Plessy. They, 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 they are a really good side. They... Um, the Dutch they didn't really threaten them for the first 70, 75 minutes. Now, they were pushed back onto the cosh. They scored a great goal in the break, and I thought, wow, they're going to win this. And suddenly, the Dutch were a totally different team, transformed team. They equalised Memphis Depay in a couple of minutes. And I, I thought Northern Ireland were unlucky not to. They certainly deserved at least a point and, and two goals in, in added time. But that's effectively eliminated them from the, the group. Even if they beat... Even if they win both games at home to the Netherlands and away to Germany, it still probably won't be enough to get them qualified. Whereas even one point in Rotterdam would have actually set up a, a winner-take-all in uh, in Belfast. Mm. They are a very, very difficult team to beat at home. They they did play very well in that game in the Aviva. They nil all draw on the friendly in the, the dying days of Martin O'Neill. Um, his last game at the Aviva, I think it was. Was his last game at the Aviva, yeah. Was, his last game was the way to, in our house against Denmark a few yeah. days later, yeah. Oh, with Femi's debut. Yeah. But, uh, so that w- w- who would be your ideal team to face first? Uh, given I've been to Cardiff so often, I don't think too many Irish fans are keen on going back to Cardiff. So I'd rather go to Bratislava. Um, I, I think we've had a good, sh- a good shout against either of them. Um, I, I'd give us at least a 50-50 chance against Wales or Slovakia I, if I had to choose I'd, I'd pick Slovakia I think the, I don't really have anyone of note that it kind of stands out at the minute anyway um, players Hamsik is still is he still playing or I suppose China, yeah. in China or something right, now, so okay, so I don't yeah. know uh, I don't know I haven't, I haven't is, seen he too was much. world class yeah. in I haven't seen too much of them now so mm. I couldn't um, I don't even know if Martin Skrill is still playing yeah he could well be playing yeah. for so no, I, I, or I, I couldn't give a uh, too much of a uh, thing but I mean whoever we're playing will have missed out on quali- qualification for the Euros so I mean uh, Wales actually beat Slovakia and Cardiff and drew away but then Slovakia took six points off Hungary and Wales would so it was the kind of a funny group it's still a close group to call so I, I think we'd have a, certainly a good shot at um, Wales or Slovakia it would be very very tough three or four or five days later having played there obviously one to be have a, an away if we had to go to, to Bosnia or had to go to Belfast so that draw on November 22nd is absolutely crucial we want to come out or the winners of our semi-final will hopefully get a home a home final yeah 
So and it's one it's one team of four, as you say, um, that goes through. So either way, it's going to be fairly, fairly difficult. It will, yeah. I mean, our previous playoffs have been two legs and it's one of two teams go through. Now it's one and four. So, uh, And what's going to make it maybe even that little bit harder if we don't make it is the winners of our playoff will be playing in the finals in Dublin. Yeah. So go back to my Northern Ireland example. Do you want to lose to Northern Ireland and watch them play in the Aviva? So, uh, <laughs> no, we don't want that to happen yeah. at all, um, at all costs. But um, I, th- I suppose that's that's in regards. You know, this is all speculating that we don't lose against, or sorry, that we don't win, win against Denmark. Win yeah. Against Denmark. So, um, hopefully, it is the case that we qualify automatically. But this is just in case um, people aren't uh, up to speed, basically, with the the playoff situation at the moment. So, huge thanks to Gary. And as as I say already, if you haven't checked him out, I leave a link in the description to follow him on Twitter um, at Spain Gary. Um, yeah, if you have anything else you'd like us to talk about, drop a comment in the comment section and let us know. And uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And uh, if your mates don't know about Irish Football Fan TV, why not tell them about it and get them to subscribe too. We're nearly at 7,000 subscribers, so help us get there. I think we're only 40 away. So we'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.